Hey guys, welcome to the first game of the Losers Match. Felt like doing a Losers Match this time first. My prerogative. I am commentating. No. You have to watch what I do. No, I uh, feel like abusive all of a sudden. This is VSL Season 13. Group C from the round of 16. 9 o'clock location, we have Gosifer. 3 o'clock location, we have Too Sexy For You. It's part of the losers grouping. Between these two and what I've seen thus far, I am going to favor Gosifer over all. This is one of those maps that very, very much tests players' game sense because of and map positioning is huge. I think it actually is one of the more interesting maps for PvP. Sexy looking to get creative. It's also a map where you can see a lot of proxy action happening. And it looks like Sexy is going to go ahead and try to... Yeah, where the question is, is where does the proxy go? It looks like it is going to go dead center. So he is hoping that the scout that comes from Ghost of Her, first of all, is late, but also goes either through the southern spoke optimally, or if it goes through the, nother, uh, the northern spoke, that it takes a route that doesn't end up seeing this pylon. I think just as far as a natural, it, the you get kind of a snake weave here. How is Ghost for going to respond? He is opening gate first, at the very least. So he's not going to have to worry about too much trouble in that regard. One gateway down now for a sexy. He's going for, it looks like, the 9-9 gate. So Zealot's going to be flooding from midfield, and this is going to be a test of Ghost for his ability to respond to that sort of pressure. It looks like he's already going for an anti manor pylon inside of his base, now moving out this probe scout. And actually, oh, he's going to miss this probe coming. Maybe he saw that probe coming from an odd angle. So it's possible that he has an instinct. Yeah, I think he might have seen that probe coming from an odd angle. So he's moving to the north. Now let's see if he spots this. He is, in fact, going to spot that proxy. Yeah, turns, finds the double gate. Now the question is his response as well. Cancels the assimilator. Going to go ahead and tack on an additional gateway does need to potentially get an additional pylon and I love it when the uh, probe attacks this pylon because it forces a decision where okay do you go after the probe or this probe actually coming back to do probe probe on probe battle Ghost for going to go ahead and back off but this is going to be one less probe that's going to be defensive in the base Ghost for with a forward zealot and a shield battery back towards the probe line so if Ghost can hold on, that will give him an economic advantage. He is going to have to do a lot of fighting in his main. The first sell, it breaches through. So let's see if Sexy can get additional damage. And I actually like the shield battery towards the main. Because that allows the probes to go ahead and sneak back and recharge that shield. And preserve themselves. In kind of this two-gate opener. But currently, two zealots on this single zealot for Sexy at the main. Now turning back around. Regrouping, but it looks like Ghost for getting the better micro out of the midst of that. Now two on two, tacking that shield, re-engaging, top zealot down. And it looks like Ghost for is nice micro to back that zealot out with just a sliver of health. Sexy exiting now with all of his troops, re-engaging with this probe, trying to get a better situation, but he keeps engaging. It looks like three on one, trying to trade here and there, but more zealots are being fielded. Another zealot down. But now it's four zealots, and they're able to plug the gap. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and move forward and take out that probe. Now Sexy in a lot of trouble. Down in probes. Completely down in probes. Now he needs to actually go back and defend these gateways. This zealot going to end around. It looks like Ghost First happy to allow zealots to sneak back and defend that gap. Well, these four zealots, so it's going to be micro potentially on two fronts. This zealot going to turn around. So Sexy, just to stay in this match, needs to defend this pylon. And he is, yeah, in a difficult situation. If one Zealot gets split off from Ghostfur as well and walks its way to Sexy's main along that southern spoke, he's also out of position to create defense there. One of those Zealots getting split off and taken out. That is huge. Four on, sorry, three on one initially. Another three on one situation. And Ghostfur currently is just out microwing Sexy. Continue to plug this gap and press units forward. And Sexy, yeah, basically all in at this stage. And 
I don't know how he's going to get back into this. Cybernetic score warping in. Gas has already been mining. We already have this cybernetic score. Some dragoons being fielded and a third gateway. All of the Zelts now flooding forward for Gosifer. It looks like these Zelts have snuck through. So we got four Zelts that have end around. Goes for realizing this, so he's going to go ahead and defend that gap. Some of them are returning to home base, so he's walking up. He's going to take out that pylon, and it looks like return. Is he going to return to his main with these zealots? Looks like he's working on those gateways. This might be an open opportunity for Sexy to sneak back into this. That is putting Sexy in the red. Five zealots on a single dragoon on the front, working on this single pylon. That would take one of these gateways down. Goes for wisely moving out. I think he wanted to plant down another pylon. These zealots finally got back to the main. There's, yeah, actually unpowers all the gateways. I thought they was going to cover that corner. So goes for actually needing to redefend. So these zealots are going to run free, and there's going to be a while before he's going to be able to field additional troops. So it's basically no troops on the ground for either player. Is Did Sexy sneak back into this? I don't think so, though. Goes for running from three zealots at this corner. He still has that shield battery. He still has lots of probes. Pylon is back up. Things are rebuilding. But Sexy making a game of it. Probes fighting off the line. Battle probes engaging. While that was happening, I missed the Zealots. Four Zealots peeling off and they went to the main. So the probes now fle fleeing. Sexy bringing all of the probes to try to engage Ghost for his main. Doing one last desperation attack with those nine probes. But Ghost for continuing to create troops in the midst of this. And it is just going to be moments before it looks like these Zelts are actually going to get taken out by probes. He's actually behind in the overall probe count in the midst of this. The probes are returning home upon realizing that. Goes for trying to clear things out, but honestly, it's just a matter of time before the Zelts are back in the main. Dragoon finally back out. Sexy's really making this challenging for Ghost for to, to clear out. Goes for down to seven probes now. So a little bit behind in his overall mining. But right now, no additional Zealots. No attack troops at all. And three Zealots marching into the main. Photon cannon warping in. For Sexy. So Sexy really trying to find some way to win this match. Finally GG from Sexy. But he really made a fight of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to game two. Thank you for listening.